This is what I do when I'm showering. Today I decided to go to an RV park. If it looks like I haven't showered in a while, that is true. I haven't showered in 12 days. I live in my self-converted camper van and I was in the forest about 30 minutes away from here. So yeah, I haven't showered and I need one. So I thought it would be a good time to show you guys all the different ways that I shower while I live in a van. This changes so drastically. I have different ways that I shower when I'm in a major city, different ways that I shower when I'm in nature. I forget the exact name of this shower, but there is this type of shower that has a bag and you can fill it up with like one or two gallons of water, lay that bag in the sun and because there's a black fabric on the back of it and the other part is clear, it heats up the water. It actually does a really good job at this and the gravity just causes it to come out when you open it. There's a little nozzle you can open and close it, so that's pretty easy. I think that the bag in and of itself is like 20 or 30 bucks. The other way I am showering outdoors right now is my outdoor shower because I got my back doors fixed I can now use my outdoor shower I have a water heater with a heating element that heats up about a gallon of water and then I have just a standard shower nozzle on the outside and I can turn that on and off to conserve water it actually gets really hot and it's just so nice and convenient I also have like a tent that I could put up if I wanted extra privacy or I could use a swimsuit or if it's a super remote area in nature I do just go naked as well today I decided to go to an RV park I don't do this often because you have to pay for it but whenever you're deep in nature there's also usually RV parks around so it's very convenient you can just go onto your Google Maps look at all the RV parks in your area and give a few of them a call and ask if they have public showers available and how much they are I gave this one a call and they said it was about ten dollars so yeah, it is very pricey, but at the same time, I really wanted like a proper shower with unlimited water. And it also snowed recently, so it's so cold outside. And just because I haven't showered in like 11 or 12 days, I really want a proper shower. And if you're like, Sarah, 11 and tw or 12 days is a long time not to shower. Yes, I realize that it is. Ever since I started living in my van, it's kind of like camping a lot of times and when you camp you don't shower as much and it doesn't really matter that you smell a little because I feel like the whole community and outdoor people smell a little bit I don't know however when I am in the city I do have a couple ways that I shower but I will get to that part of the video later first let's shower at this RV park okay this is what I do when I'm showering I bring my shampoo and conditioner so I'm using the brand love beauty and planet today and then I also have this it's like a deep detox scrub it's like after you shampoo you scrub it in before your conditioner so because I haven't showered in so long I will be using that and then I have method body again this is cruelty free and plant-based so that's my body wash that I'm using today and then I bring a microfiber towel because it is so thin that it's easy to just throw in there like I love microfiber towels I bring all of my products in a netted bag along with a change of clothes and I think that's all I really bring oh and also I went in there to check where the showers were and he said just go use it so he didn't even make me pay 10 bucks so this is a free shower <laughs> yay Wow, I feel so much better. Now I'm gonna moisturize. I didn't wash my face in the shower today because I've actually been washing my face every single day in my sink. And that's kind of how I shower <laughs> or do like a baby shower. If I don't need a full shower, but I do need to do something like wash my hair, I will wash my hair in my sink. I'll just like put it over my sink, wash my hair and that has been really helpful. I don't like love that and I don't consider that a full shower, but it's definitely better than nothing. Whoa, there was so much pressure built up. Okay, the next way that I shower is pretty typical of van lifers and it's Planet Fitness. I have a membership 
for $20 a month and I go to gyms all across the country. I also use this little crystal deodorant that you can put on your armpits before you get sweaty and smelly and it genuinely works so well to reduce how quickly you start to smell. So little tips and tricks like that also really help whenever you aren't showering as often or you're trying to conserve the amount of times you shower. And then the last couple ways that I have heard of that I don't do often, I've only done these a couple times, is to go to community gyms, like community centers, and ask to pay for a day pass and shower. You could go to something like the YMCA or anything like that. There are also gas stations like Love's or Flying J, and you can pay about $15 to have a shower there. And I don't really do that again because it's pretty expensive, but I have done it before. It is very nice and it's good if you're in a pinch. So those are all the ways that I shower while I live in my van. You really make it work and it's not as hard as it seems in this video. It becomes pretty intuitive. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please like and subscribe because I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays about van life. I do vlog style stuff and share all my travels. See you guys in the next video. Bye! For two.